How is it going guys? Chris back here again with some more MTGA historic content. Uh, we're doing a historic brawl like we normally do. Uh, generally I'd have like a Skyrim video today, but because of Dominary's release, you know what we did last time, just going to queue up some magic videos because there's a lot of things I want to do. And the first thing we're going to do is play a uh, Lagamos Hand of Hatred deck. So this deck uh, works, I guess. It's probably the worst and best way to say it. It just kind of works. Uh, it doesn't always work well. But, um, like I said, I haven't had much time to test it because this is day two of launch, so. So this deck has a zombie and a goblin sub theme. It's mainly interested in triggers that die. Uh, the zombies are in the deck because things like open the grave. Uh, take action. Things like open the grave make zombies whenever you have non-token creatures die. Uh, the goblin sub theme comes from the fact that a lot of goblins are kind of like seasoned pyromancer and that when they enter the battlefield, they make more bodies. And I think you can build this commander a couple of ways. I think you could build it in a way where the creatures that are dying aren't yours, they're your opponents. lost her blood money. That's kind of sad. Belzen lock and egg? No, not Belzen lock. Uh, dual color? I don't really want to pitch a land. We don't really use our graveyard, so if it gets exiled, we don't care. We're not going to get anything back from there, anyways. It's a shielder deck. That's kind of cool. And shielder is our captive audience. So these are really bad choices for them at the moment. Should have done that after trigger resolve, then you would have had ten life instead of six. We're one mana off Rathacast the Flow Blooded. Well, we will need to actually start dealing with. Them. Judas is actually a pretty decent call out. deck to win, I think. I 
they're gonna have to exile a lot to keep up with this. They've exiled 24 permanents. And then they lose the game. So that's one way the deck can win. Uh, honestly, my favorite way to win is uh, Revel and Riches. Revel and Riches, Blood Money. You basically build up a big board of tokens, you uh, have your commander out, and you sacrifice five tokens a turn to uh, set up a combo. Which, honestly, you could stick in um, Sanguine Blood and uh, the Vampire Veto, and you could also stick in Underworld Dreams and Peer into the Abyss. Like, you could put all the mono black combos in the deck. And then just use your commander to tutor him up. The hardest thing is getting enough creatures to sacrifice to do it. Because um, you saw in that matchup, we, we got enough creatures. We were just at such a life total that we didn't really need to bother with it, right? Yeah, this is fine. So we have... Uh, Priest on two, hopefully a land drop at some point. And from there, Goshintai. I tend to lose against Goshintai. We don't really have any uh, enchantment removal. Like, Black never really has enchantment removal. We could put in, like, uh, there are a couple of edicts for enchantments, but. Also like some uh, some lands, some more lands. That's what I mean. Or logos. Why? Try again. So we're making strides, I guess. And I feel like I'm kind of uselessly cycling through my creatures, so that's a bit of a problem. Hey, don't get rid of my things. I like my things. Yeah, I guess Bantu would be a bit of an issue, wouldn't it? Couple of life, I can't complain. <clears throat> We can make a couple of pack rats. If they play Go Shintai, we can also just uh, wrath away the board. I 
Lagamos. I think that's Lagamos. He's a cool guy. I like him. He does good things. I like Sethe. Who just draws cards. I mean, we technically draw cards too. I guess I do have reanimation. The Cauldron of Eternity is kind of a uh, last call reanimation, right? Not good. this time. So right in Belden Lock is just amazing in the deck because it makes four tokens. I mean, it makes you sacrifice tokens too, which is also kind of a good thing. Like the, um... Souls. And then Graveyard Marshal. The Graveyard Marshal and uh, Cauldron of Eternity kind of serve the same purpose in the deck. It's just a way to get value out of the graveyard. Oh no. I need, um, like a blood artist, if I'm being honest. You know, the issue for them is that if they kill anything, I can just get it back. we're going. Do have 20 permanent. That's pretty cool. on like a pack rat it's really big we can uh probably just play that game okay, this one deals to players not opponents uh players not creatures We 
might just be dead. I kind of expect it to just be dead, but... Can I... So I could just, uh... So if we bond to, we can draw a couple cards. Since we're dead, we don't need these. So we got a Vindictive Vampire, we just, uh, are a little too dead to use it, right? Kind of just have to rely on Mirror March here. Single failure, okay. Damn. Well, that there is a GG. We were close, though. I probably took my sacrificing a bit too far. One out of two ain't bad so far. So I don't know what I'm gonna be building next, but I'll figure that out sometime today so that I can have it prepped for tomorrow. Eh, this is okay. So we have a 2-1 flyer on two, possibly an Obnixilis on three, The shame, um, casualty doesn't work with multiple creatures like crew does. Because most casualty cards are, um, like casualty one or casualty two, right? Uh, but I think you have, like, higher costs and then, uh, with a better effect. It, it's hard to say, honestly. Okay, it's one of the one of the least interesting mechanic. It's an interesting mechanic. It's just it's um, hasn't found much success. It's a bit like uh, Coven. Coven the com uh, a mechanic in standard at the moment that is just uh, not great. a cap for a local token. I'm gonna get down my bone. Well, 
Yeah, Femia is not uh, a zombie. She just makes them. Rude. I'm gonna go with Obnixilis. If you don't stand with there was an opportunity there to go Krenko. And like if they didn't have anything, Krenko would just be really good. doing business with you. So our gobbos are gonna be blockers. And then they're just gonna let us off. Oh my god, no. Why have you done this to me? Oh give it up already. Oh, okay. Well, let's get the hand a little thinner. Defy me, and you'll lose everything. Let's get down some ramp. <clears throat> Planes walkers. All two of you. Still gonna kill him. That's just rude, man. Come on now. I don't have any artifacts available. I need one more land for blood money. How dare you destroy what I've built? Yeah, we're just dead. We'd hit the land, we would have stabilized, we didn't. GG opponent. Well, that's today's episode. We did 1 2. Our best game with our first game. That is uh, actually very convenient for me, but it's not really good for uh, overall the notions of quality of the deck, you know? Either way, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, remember to leave a like. You know the deal. See you next time.